Good afternoon from Okinawa, Japan, home of Okisubis. Today we have a version 3 STI. It has a misfire issue. We would typically look at and troubleshoot a little bit different, but this car, supposedly after an overheat, started to have this misfire. So what we're gonna do today is a compression test on this vehicle. And we're also gonna look into a little bit on the throttle. You see a lot of times people ask, do you open the throttle, do you close the throttle? So as we're doing the compression test, we're gonna do both. We're gonna show you what the compression test results are with the throttle closed and then with it open. And does it actually make a difference? Um, you know, cars have different style misfires. We've seen things like with mass airflow sensors, the, the car's misfiring a little bit, or timing, or spark plugs, or whatever. So, just to give you guys an idea of what it sounds like, check it out. The interesting thing about this setup is once you give it a little bit more acceleration, it kind of seems to smooth out a little bit. Right about there. Okay. So with it smoothing out on top, it's a little bit interesting. That kind of, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, we still want to do the compression test first, but smoothing out on top, unless it's just rotating so fast that the misfire kind of just um, kind of smooths itself out but it's still there as a possibility could be also timing something with the timing belt but it's just weird because overheat then this you would think the overheat is something that caused it but sometimes when you're working on cars if you focus on when it happened like when it overheated so therefore it must have been the overheat that caused the misfire it's not always the case you know these cars are old it could have overheated and then at that time for whatever reason, the, the, the timing belt skip, you know, a tooth. And an idle, it's, it's a little bit choppy, but as you give it a little bit more acceleration. So for compression test, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the battery, we're gonna remove the windshield wiper reservoir, the in intercooler piping, and the intake. And it's just like doing spark plugs. We're gonna pull the wires, pull the plugs, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and do one, two, three, four, or order doesn't really matter, but we're gonna do all the all four cylinder compression tests with the throttle closed first. Um, instead of one closed and then one open, it's not gonna make much of a difference because with this throttle closed, there's only a certain amount of air in the manifold. Cylinder one, it probably won't matter to anything at all with the throttle closed or open because there's still some air that it can suck in a little bit, but then it could kind of cause like a vacuum. There may not be, it may be a little bit more restriction as you continue on to you know the different cylinders you'll see wow. When you're doing a compression test, you don't want the engine to start. That'd be bad. So there's two ways that you can keep the engine from starting. One is to remove the crank sensor. So disconnect the crank sensor. You don't have to remove it. Just unplug it. Uh, if the ECU doesn't see the, the crank signal, it won't start. Uh, another way, the, the way we go about doing it is because the crank sensor sometimes is difficult to get to. Uh, we can remove these two fuses. Right here. So we just remove these two fuses. And on whatever vehicle you're working on, they're in the same location. They might be a different color, a different shape. This is a version three, so it's a little older. It's got the, the very accessible pinch style fuse. The other ones you have to um, you have to work out your fingers a, a lot to be able to pull them out or use a pair of pliers, proper tools. But yeah, you remove these and it disables the fuel system. Oh, first spark plug out. Look at that. You said he just replaced these plugs too. He just replaced these spark plugs, but they look pretty fouled out. Which could be due to the misfire. Could be unburnt fuel. Okay, so now once you have everything pulled, right, spark plugs and get everything out of the way, <clears throat> you're just going to get a manual compression tool. Here in Japan, we have a company down the street called Astro 
and uh, everything here is in KPA so depending on where you're located you may have PSI but basically out of the four cylinders your end results should all be within 10% as long as it's within 10% now obviously if it's all of them is only 10 PSI and it's <laughs> one of them is zero that's not a good thing but let's check it out let's see so we're gonna start with cylinder one and what you're gonna do this is just like the, the tip of a spark plug and you're just gonna rotate this piece in there's an o-ring on there so um, it'll keep it nice and snug now we have everything plugged into cylinder one and what we're gonna do is we typically like to crank it right and you can hear the rotations we'd like to kind of keep them the same so we'll usually hear like a a one, two, three, four, and you can kind of hear it. So let's go ahead and do it. All right, go ahead, Dylan. Yep. So this is the result for cylinder one. Okay, and then there's a button right here, and you just release the pressure, and it's going to fart for you. And you're going to bring it down. Yep. No, no, no. We're going to do all of them with throttle closed first. Alright. And that is the result for the second one. A little over 1200. Release it, and then we'll go to the other side. As we can see, cylinder two is also right over 12. So, so far, so good. <clears throat> cylinder four. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pretty much all of them are, are, are dead on, right in that same area. A little over 1200, so that's great. Compression is good on this engine. So now, let's do it with the throttle open and see if we get anything different on this for the reading. Okay, so now we have it back in cylinder one, so we're going to do it all over again. And uh, this time, as I'm cranking it, I'm going to give it full throttle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And... As you can see, it's it's right there, same location. And it could also matter on what style um, engine you have too. For example, this setup is a older model with a throttle body and an idle air control valve. And the idle air control valve and the throttle bodies, right, they're cracked open a little bit so that the engine can idle. Versus a newer one, which is drive-by wire, when the engine is actually closed, that throttle might actually be closed all the way because the drive-by wire is what ele electronically opens and closes to control your, um, your, your idling. So on a newer model, with the engine off or just cranking, even then, I think as you're cranking it, the ECU will tell the throttle to open a little bit because the ECU would have to or your car wouldn't start with the throttle closed. Full throttle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we have the same exact results. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This one, yep, right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is cylinder four, the troublemaker cylinder. And as you can see, it is like dead on when it comes to the compression for this engine. So, very good. And the conclusion four, to open your throttle or close your throttle is Dochi de Moides. Yeah, I'm the translator, so that means uh, whichever whichever one is okay. Good compression, so we e will compression continue. Huh? E -com <laughs> He's translating for you, he's speaking Japanese. Okay, so the end results of the should you open or should you not open the throttle body is we saw 
it doesn't matter. It doesn't make a difference. So um, we were considering continuing on with the video and trying to you know, take this rabbit trail of diagnostics to actually get this uh, issue fixed, but we really just want to stay focused on that title, that topic, right? So uh, how to do a compression test. So hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, any concerns, feel free to comment. And uh, also look out for part two because we will be fixing this thing.